Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you what are different types of style sheets available in CSS and how we are going to use these style sheets. So starting with the first style sheet uh, that I am going to make here is that is inline inline style sheet inline style sheet. So uh, I need to declare a body part over here. So what is the div uh, that I am going to tell you? Uh, inline dot html and if I am going to make a div over here uh, so one div has taken one full line and if I am going to check uh, the another division so another division has taken another full line so uh, if I am going to add a style element in my division and if I am going to specify its width property and 100 pixel as its value so a uh, style is an element width is a property and 100 pixel is its value if I want to separate property and value I need to put here as colon and if I need to separate two properties I need to put here as semicolon so I have given the division style uh, its width as 100 pixel height as 100 pixel and if I want to say here as background color red so uh, if I'm going to refresh this it has a width of 100 pixel height of 100 pixel background color as red and uh, the color as white so this color white this color white means uh, the text should be of white color so this is basically the uh, the properties uh, this is basically the inline style sheet that is being written inline style that is been written along with your tag you can attach it with any of your tag either it is your division tag or your h1 tag or your h2 tag whatever tag you can you can use any style for example if i am going to say here as heading 1 so there is a heading 1 i can put a style over there so width 100 pixel height 100 pixel let's say background color as pink and color as white so here it's it's reduced with the same thing so it has a width of 200 pixel and the height of 100 pixel the background color of pink and the color of white so this is basically the inline style sheet uh, in your CSS. So moving to the next part, I am making a new file and I need to save it as internal.html and in this file, I am going to tell you what is basically the internal style sheet and how you are going to use this. So for that, I need to put a tag of style in my head tag. So in the internal style sheet you need to put a style tag into your head tag and uh, we have two things with us one is id the id will always be starting with your hash keyword so in this also i'm going to declare uh, some css properties as well as its values so width is 100 pixel height is 100 pixel background color at, as red and i'm going to make an another id in which i'm going to change its color as white so moving to the next part i'm going to make a class uh, the name you can uh, you can take any name that can always that have to start with a character uh, this is a proper uh, you can say the way of creating a class. This is not a proper way you 
you don't want to start a class name with a number so you need to start it from a character so here i can say here as width 100 pixel height 100 pixel background color as red and in the class too we can say here as color white so here if i am going to use here the style then div id equals to id1 so div id equals to i am going to tell you the difference between id and classes so first of all div id equals to id1 means uh, we can say here as demo for the id and div id equals to id1 will put your all the properties of this id its width height and background color and will apply all these property to this division so if i'm going to refresh this uh, it has created a division with width as 100 pixel and height as 100 pixel and the background color as red and if i'm going to implement a class then i have to say here as div class equals to class one and here i can say demo for the class and if I'm going to refresh this, then this is the class. I can just change its color in order to have some verification. So, div class equals to class one, which have uh, width as 100, height as 100, and background color as pink. So that that three properties are applied to your class. So next comes your uh, the difference between your ID and classes. So the major difference between ID and classes is that if you want to put your second ID in your div, div tag, then it can't be implemented because ID, uh, you need to put only one ID on one tag, on a single tag. Means you can put only, you can attach only one ID to your any element. You can't put multiple IDs like I have put id2 along with my id1 this way you can't put your id you need to only place only you need to only attach one id to your any html tag but in in the case of classes like if i have attached class one with this i can attach my class two as well uh, so class 2 have my text color as white and if I'm going to refresh this Here I have removed my second ID. So only ID 1 is being attached But here I have put my second class class 2 That have a color of white and my text colors changes to the white So this is the major difference between your ID and classes that in ID, you can attach only a single ID at a time to your HTML tag. But in the case of classes, you can attach multiple classes to your any HTML tag and whatever the uh, you can say properties you have defined in your classes will be attached to that particular division. So this is basically the difference between your ID and classes and the most benefit of this using ID and classes is that you can reuse these classes without writing an additional extra code. So if I'm going to do, uh, like implement the same class that I have declared earlier, so I just need to recall it's my another division tag so it can be reused. So this is basically the difference between your uh, inline style sheet. In the inline style sheet, you need to write over here uh, to every tag, so it's a lengthier process, it's a time consuming process. But in the case of eternal style sheet, you have created a style tag and, on, and in that tag, you can place your ID and classes and you can just call your ID and classes in your respective divisions in which you want to implement. So this is all about internal style sheet. So moving to the next part, external style sheet. So externals in the external style sheet i need to uh, create a new file and i need to play 
placed all this IDN classes, only IDN classes over here, and I need to save it as any name, but you have to put your extension as .css. What does .css means? .css means cascade style sheet. So if I'm going to save this, it has saved as style.css and in the external style sheet, I need to attach this file along with this. So in order to attach this file, I need to write as link relation style sheet. Define its type as text slash CSS and href equals to style.css. So uh, link relation, it should be a style sheet. Type is a text CSS means the style sheet, which I am going to link with this file, uh, this external.html file will always be having IDN classes in it, not any other text. And href is a hyper reference that is going to uh, like attach the particular file with this external.html so style.css is the name of the style sheet and this I have given in my hyper reference so if I'm going to like run this it has displayed me uh, the external style sheet so this file external.html is being attached with your style.css file so in this way you can implement your external style sheet the major difference between your internal style sheet and external style sheet is that in internal style sheet, every page uh, will be a little lengthier and uh, the page like we have a website in which two pages are there, one uh, in which four or five pages are there. One is home, about us, contact us. Uh, as we know that about us page and the home page and the contact us page the header and footers are mostly common in all web pages so if i if we are using internal style sheet the header and footer classes will be uh, like uh, it will be duplicate it will be like uh, we have to write again and again in all the pages like in home in about us in contact us all these pages will be writing the header and footer that are common uh, that the, uh, the styles of header and footer will be written again and again in all the pages so in order to avoid this duplication uh, this unnecessary code that has been written in all your other on on all the files we have created a common style sheet so just we need to add a link in my home page and as well as my about us page and as well as my contact us page. So that page will all share a common style sheet. So in this way, you can just save your time, save your, uh, uh, you can just uh, like stop your duplication or rewriting your extra code in your all files again and again so this is basically the difference between your external style sheet external style sheet shares a common file with your multiple pages so no duplicate uh, styles should be existing again and again so it was all about here uh, the difference between inline style sheet, internal style sheet, and external style sheet. So, if you like my video, just uh, like and share my video and do subscribe my channel for getting all the latest updates of uh, web technological tutorial. Thanks for watching my video.